Hi, my name is Amy, and I'm a Data and Applied Science University recruiter here at Microsoft. And I'm Pratik. I work as a data scientist on the CSX Data Sciences team within our Experience and Devices organization. Have you ever wondered what a data scientist at Microsoft does and how to prepare for a data science interviews at Microsoft? Sometimes it can be challenging to know where to start. We're here to help set you up for success in your next interview with Microsoft. Before we dive into the interview preparation, we will start by defining the role of a data scientist and going over a typical day for a data scientist. Next, we'll jump into an overview of the interview structure and then wrap up with a discussion on the topics our interviewers focus on. Let's get going. Often when I'm meeting with students, I get the following questions. What does a data scientist actually do? And what can I expect to work on? These are great questions. Data scientists at Microsoft use machine learning, statistics, experiments, and more to build and improve great products while making business impact. You will collaborate across the company, formulate approaches to solve problems, and use algorithms and data sources in the context of business and engineering needs. That's right, Amy. And our data scientists at Microsoft come from multidisciplinary backgrounds. They combine their engineering abilities with strong analytical skills to make customer experiences better for more than a billion customers around the world. Our data scientists use innovative methods, algorithms, and tools on a daily basis to drive results throughout Microsoft devices, operating systems, products, and services, and provide novel insights into business and customer scenarios. The projects our data scientists work on are exciting and span many different areas. From search engines, ads, spam filtering and security, to conversational agents, recommender systems, image and speech recognition, and so much more, it's an exciting time for data and using it to empower the planet. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Pratik, who can tell you from firsthand experience what his typical day as a data scientist looks like. Thanks, Amy. When I think about what landed me in data science and why I continue to enjoy working in the field, ultimately, it was the fun of finding insights from the data and using those insights to make decisions. Data science is great because it can really be applied to anything. So the opportunities are endless. Most of my days consist of coding machine learning models, collaborating with colleagues to brainstorm and discuss findings. We also present our solution and work to our leadership teams to get their feedback. Collaboration and communication help us to be successful and make the job fun. I also read and research new machine learning methodologies. It's important to continue growing and learning to foster progression and innovation. Now, Amy and I will talk more about the interview structure and what to expect. We have first and final round interviews. The first round interview typically lasts 30 to 45 minutes and is conducted through Microsoft Teams or over the phone. Sometimes interviewers will also screen share for coding problems. For final round interviews, each interview lasts 45 minutes with 10 to 15 minutes in between for you to take a short break and gather your thoughts. In total, you will have between three to five interviews. Some of you may be PhD candidates interviewing for a full-time data scientist position and you may be asked to do a one-hour presentation. This takes place at the beginning of your day prior to your one-on-one -on -one interviews. The presentation will be two parts, the presentation and a Q&A session. The format of the presentation is conversational and will center on the focus of your PhD work. This lets the team understand what you've done so far in your research and sets the foundation for understanding your research prior to your one-on-one -on -one interviews. Most interviews will begin with introductions and an overview of your background. Be ready to answer questions on anything you have added to your resume or CV. The next part of the interview will dive into both technical and behavioral questions. Interviewers are looking at how you tackle questions, problem solve, and the methodology you use. Take a second to pause and think about the problem before you answer so you can articulate your thought process better. The final segment of your interview is your time to learn about the interviewer and Microsoft. Come prepared with a handful of questions you have about working here. 
Pratik, do you have any topics and areas students should focus on while they prepare to interview with Microsoft? Absolutely. Across Microsoft, our university data science interviews focuses on four main components, technical excellence, collaboration, drive for results, and adaptability. When preparing for technical piece of the interviews, be ready to answer questions related to machine learning fundamentals, algorithm design, understanding and interpreting the data, coding, as well as linear algebra, statistics, and probability. If you have in-depth technical knowledge and or our publications in a specific domain or focus area, such as natural language processing or deep learning, be ready to answer deep technical questions associated with those domains. During the portion of the interview that focuses on collaboration, we are looking for examples on how you effectively worked with others to solve problems and build solutions. All teams at Microsoft thrive on collaboration. It is a big part of our work environment. For the Drive for Results segment, we are looking for experiences and skills showing how you implement effective end-to-end -end problem solving while driving to positive outcomes. This is where explaining your thought process and asking clarifying questions is essentially important. Lastly, adaptability relates to the way in which you respond to changes in the scenario or questions being asked and how you can work under ambiguous situations. Great overview, Pratik. Before we finish, here are some high-level tips to keep in mind throughout your interview. Your decision-making process is especially important when interviewing. Often, interview questions are intentionally open-ended. Practice explaining your approach to the problem aloud and ask questions. Prepare ahead and have multiple examples to talk about throughout your interviews. Don't just focus on one project and make sure you highlight your diverse experiences in school, internships, and or work experience. You will be asked to solve a problem. Always clarify and frame the problem breaking down the question into manageable parts. If you are unsure how to approach the question, let the interviewer know. They are happy to get you started. Then evaluate your solution, take time, and think through how your answer would or wouldn't work. We are interested in the way you think. Even if the solution isn't optimal, you can think through ways it could be improved upon. Using the STAR method, situation, task, action, result, can be a great way to clearly communicate your answers. I suggest watching the video, How to Prepare for Microsoft Technical Interviews. This video is a fantastic resource for an example coding question and how to use the STAR method. Lastly, bring your passion to the interview. We want to know what makes you, you. And we hope the content today was helpful in preparing you to interview for a data science position at Microsoft. Good luck to everyone interviewing soon.